Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of my organization overload series. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy and my channel focuses primarily on organizing, showing a little tour of the house, how I decorate for all seasons and occasions, everyday home decor, and pretty much everything revolving around home here in Northwest Indiana. I'd love to hear in the comments below where you're from. So I've recently been asked, what keeps you motivated to staying organized every day? And what I do is I practice these 10 tips that I'm gonna be giving you in today's video that have basically become a habit, a good habit, and have just simplified my life by following them. So there's no need to write them down. I'm going to put them in the description box below so you can look back on them for reference. If you've been to a department store or Walmart or a grocery store, then you already know what organization should look like. Everything is stocked, kept clean, labeled, categorized, and there's a place for everything. So I hope these random tips I gave you today will help you keep motivated as well. I believe organization is nothing more than being very disciplined and consistent. Consistency is the key. So stick around for number 10 because I believe that one is the best. Okay, starting up here in the bedroom, tip number one, make your bed every day, no matter what. If it's the only thing you accomplished in an entire day, you've already done it. Early morning, cross it off your list. If I can make this bed every single day with 11 pillows on it, that's my 12th one there. It's actually not a pillow. That's my Jasper cat taking his little morning nap. So make your bed every day. No excuses. And then you can cross it off your list. Tip number two, organize something every day. Where to start? Start with something small. It could be your vitamins, your spices, a cabinet, a small drawer, one of your toolbox drawers, anything. Just start with something small. In no time, everything will come together and then you'll be ready for bigger projects like maybe a craft room or your closet or organizing your garage. And you will just feel like a pro and have such a huge sense of accomplishment. Now, an example of starting off with something small would be like this. This is my pen and pencil drawer in the kitchen. And this is just where I have pens, markers, scissors, tape, stapler, paper clips, things like that. And what I did is I've got a whole bunch of new pens, these four color pens. I can't live without them. I love them. So I just put them there in the drawer. But prior to that, I got rid of any broken pencils, any dried out markers or pens that ran out of ink and just went through them really quickly and then I just keep this all organized because there's like subdividers in here and then everything has its place and that drawer is done. And if it's kept organized, you never have to worry about it again. Tip number three, go to bed with an empty sink. Nothing is better than walking into your kitchen knowing you don't have to spend time washing dishes first thing in the morning, hand wash or load and run your dishwasher at night. Tip number four, Never go up or down the stairs empty-handed. There is always something that can be put away or put into another room. So if you don't have stairs, put everything in a bin or a basket. Every morning I bring down my water bottle off my nightstand, my laundry basket if I have a load of laundry to do, and all my empty hangers so that they're all ready in my laundry room and ready to go. When I get home from the store, if there's anything I have to unload that goes upstairs, I just set it on one of the stairs and then anytime I go upstairs during the day, I just grab everything and put it away. So for instance, if I have items like this, like a tube of mascara, some razors, and some body wash, I just bring them over here to the stairs, set them up here, and anytime I walk up the stairs, I just grab them and put them away. So never go up or down the stairs empty-handed. Tip number five, write everything down. There's always gonna be something that you forget, but if you write it down, even if you put it on your phone in a notes app, I've done that. I like to write everything. So I use these from Dollar Tree. So they have hardcover journals, desk calendars, wall calendars, planners for the top of your desk, and notepads with little magnets on the back. So you can stick them to your fridge. So what I've also done is I've created a grocery list that I printed out on my computer every week. And it's according to the aisles of the store. I primarily shop at one grocery store. So if we're running low on anything during the week, I just put it in right here. Like we're low on onions. So I put in onions. We need uh, black pepper. I put that on my list. So 
when I add to my list, I write all my menu ideas here, anything we need, and then this is pretty much everything I get every week, every two weeks or so when I go to the store. So write everything down. What's really great about the grocery list is it keeps you on track. It, you don't have to backtrack through the store because everything is according to the aisles and you just get out of there a lot quicker and it keeps you on budget, honestly, because you're not running all over the store seeing other things that you might want. So another great idea I have regarding writing things down is my don't forget magnet. So this little magnet is from Dollar Tree. I think you get like four to a pack, $1. twenty-five, And I just put an index card that says, don't forget. Now what this is, is I put this on my service door of my garage and on the inside. And like I'm in charge of a dessert for Easter. And anytime I need to bring something, so going to the grocery store, I need to bring my Aldi bags. Uh, I'm going to a birthday party, I need to bring a gift. I am in charge of a dessert. I need to bring the dessert. So I just put it on this list. And because it's out of sight, out of mind, so your gift might be on your dining room table and you forget it, this will help you remember as soon as you walk out your door of your garage. Oh, I need to get my gift. Or you're on your way to the grocery store. Oh, I got to get my Aldi bags. So for instance, when I bake the dessert for Easter Sunday, I'm going to write it in as soon as I'm done with the dessert because it's going to be out of sight out of mine, most likely in the refrigerator or on the counter. You may just overlook it. I go to get the door handle on the way out of, you know, to the party and I'm going to remember it because I always have a little don't forget note. You can also put a note in your car, um, maybe not so much a magnetic note, uh, but you can do a little note maybe on your dashboard that says, don't forget to close the garage door. How many times have you driven away and have to circle back? It's happened to me a lot of times. And it's like, I check and yep, I close the door, but to remember to do it or to watch it for two seconds go down is very important. And I'll just save some time and, and know that this little note could be a reminder to do something as simple as wait for the garage door to go down and make sure it's shut. Tip number six is create a monthly wish list. Now I put this on that notes app on my phone because I kind of update it periodically and I always have it handy to look at and revise if I have to because sometimes life gets in the way and your plans get changed a little bit. So for instance, in January, my wish list was to uh, paint the master bedroom and I actually got that done and accomplished. I'm very proud of myself. Turned out awesome. Uh, in February, I emptied out a large file cabinet, got tax papers ready, shredded all my papers that are in my shredding bin. And I also printed out an, a blank calendar and I chose 14 dinner ideas and I'll fill them in on the first 14 days. And then I chose another 14 ideas for the last two weeks of the month. And then I'm just going to revolve and alternate the menu ideas throughout the year. So it could be as easy as pizza on Fridays and meatloaf Monday and taco Tuesday and things like that. But we have a very crazy schedule spring through early fall. We have a mobile concession trailer business. And so if we're out late in an event, we might have to grab something at the events. So that just prolongs your list. Cause if you ate out, you can add a day to your menu. So you don't have to buy as much groceries. So I did that as uh, one of my ideas that I wanted to do in February. Now, so in March, as it's getting a little bit warmer, uh, my on my project wish list is to power wash the basement steps and the whole sidewalk that goes in front of the house. Uh, we also had a bunch of sand delivered that we wanted to freshen up the pond area. I introduced you to my ducks in my St. Patrick's Day video. And then the room that we keep them in at night when they go to bed, it was very low. It, sand had sunk so we wanted to fill that all back in and we just finished that project about a week ago so that was a project that I wanted to get done in March and then for April I want to uh, practice a little bit more with my uh, new Cricut machine like I said we have a concession trailer business so I've been wanting to do our own shirts and I got a couple of them done they look really nice but I want to keep practicing on that uh, get my garden roto tilled and also burn a big pile of twigs and sticks that I've collected over the winter back in the backyard by the fire pit. So if I can get a day that's not super windy, we've had so much wind lately, that's on my wish list for the last couple months and then through April. Now my list goes on and on. <laughs> so it's just a nice thing to have. It just keeps you motivated to want to get a project done for yourself in a specific month. 
Tip number seven, try to stick to a weekly schedule. So pick out the day of the week that you want to wash your bedding or clean your bathrooms or wash your car or go grocery shopping or do yard work. Um, I think another great tip is to fill your gas tank every Sunday so that you're not rushing off to work and have to stop for gas on Monday morning. It's done, you're ready for the week, and it's good to go. So if you can keep to a weekly schedule of things that you wanna do on certain days, it all gets complete and then it's not overwhelming because you know that day is designated for that specific chore. Number eight, try to do one load of laundry a day. If you don't have enough to do one load, wait until the next day or until you have a full load to do. Doing one load a day just keeps you from being completely overwhelmed when there's 20 loads to do and you have to get them all done in one day. It's just, just try to make it easier on yourself and try to do one from sort, wash, dry, fold, iron, put away. So there's been many times that I have gone to bed and grabbed my basket and everything that I have to hang up and I just do it. It takes a few minutes, it's put away, it's done and organized and yes, do I wanna do it? All the time? No, but like I said, organization is about being disciplined and consistent. So the more you do it, the more it becomes a good habit, it will just be effortless. So just try to do one load of laundry a day. Tip number nine, do a 10 minute tidy every day. So set your timer on your phone for 10 minutes and see how many things you can actually get done, even if it's one thing or five little things. So an example would be, like I said, your dishes are done. From the night before because remember you ran your dishwasher so unload your dishwasher start a crock pot dinner and i'm going to read a few of these that i wrote down because there's so many ideas uh clean out your car restock your fridge so that's especially useful if you shop at like sam's or costco and you buy bulk items so restock your fridge with your drinks and your water bottles and collapse your boxes right away and put them in your recycle bin or throw them in your car if you take them to a recycling center, but get them out of your house. Collapse them, get them out of the way. So that's done. And then you're ready to go grocery shopping because everything is all nice. Um, and you can see what you need. So go through junk mail, your bills, permission slips, shred your papers, wait until your bin is full. If you have kids in sports, have their snacks and their uniforms ready to go. It's less stressful to get out the door when they have practice to get to or a game to get to, everything's done. Open your blinds, open your shades, sweep up your pet food uh, that they like to spill all over the floor, uh, clean your bathroom mirror and wipe down your sink or scrub out your toilet, clean out the microwave, empty kitchen garbage can, clean off the kitchen table so you have a place to eat. And then if today's grocery shopping day, clean out your refrigerator and wipe down your shelves. So you'd be surprised how many small things you can get done uh, that makes such a big difference. So do a 10 minute tidy anytime during the day. We made it to the end with tip number 10. I think this is the best tip. If you can't do everything on this list, try again tomorrow. Try again the next day. At least try one thing and just start. You can do this. I know organizing an entire house may be overwhelming, and that's why a lot of people don't even start because they're thinking, how do I get this done? Start small, start with one thing. Decide whether today is gonna to be one day or day one. So put in the comments below the number 10 if you think this is the best tip. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just try again the next day. I hope this video helped you with how I stay motivated and organized and gave you some good ideas. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate it. It's very fun to see more subscribers every single day, being that I'm a new channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I try to answer every comment or question as they come in. So again, I appreciate your time and thank you for stopping by. Until next time, bye.